What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we went over to the Wizard's Tower, because we wanted to talk to him about the Community Center, and he like heckin' made us drink some crazy potion, and now we're actually able to like communicate with those little, what are they called, Junimos or something like that? Those weird like little ghost figure guys that are haunting the heckin' Community Center. Apparently, uh, you guys l let me know in the comments down below, but apparently I'm actually able to check that community center thing in this menu i forget where that was though hold on uh here it is right here community center right there okay so we have a button right here to check up on the community center spring forging bundle uh we actually put what was that daffodil right there so we still have horseradish right there leek and dandelion that we need to put over there uh, i'm like the the month is only or the i'm like i'm going to keep saying month <laughs> but the uh the season is halfway over it's the 16th day of i, I think i forget if it's either 28 days or 30 days that you guys told me uh, for one season here, but either way, uh, let's just harvest some crops over here. I'm like, that's what this game's all about, farming and whatnot, right? <laughs> let's just harvest all of our crops, and I guess we'll, uh, see if we can find any more dandelions or leeks or any other things around here. I definitely want to try and get some sort of upgrade so we don't have to, like, manually water each individual plant here every time. I remember there was a sprinkler mentioned really early on, like, uh, I think it was in the first episode when we were first making our area. Uh, but I don't know when we're actually going to be able to get that sprinkler. Uh, let's check up on our mail, though. How do I... God, why can't I... There you go. Golly. <laughs> Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am writing to you let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you could afford a few dozen boxes or so? Okay, Pierre. <laughs> let me know that your store is selling fertilizers. Uh, I think last episode, didn't we get a... Uh, yeah, what's this thing down here? Basic retaining soil. Okay, okay, I guess it's not a fertilizer there. Uh, the soil has a chance of staying watered overnight. And okay. Mix into tilt soil. Do we have a fertilizer here somewhere? I feel like I saw that somewhere. Maybe I unlocked the recipe or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, you definitely want to go over here. Let's go see what the fortune teller has to say about our day. Let's see. The spirits now, they, yeah, okay, they feel neutral today. Okay, uh, not that bad, I suppose. Hopefully, I'll actually, uh, actually, I don't even know if those. Oh, and this is parsnip. I don't even know if luck has anything to do with, like, finding dandelions and leeks and stuff like that out in the open. Might have to look into that. Uh, either way, yeah, last episode, we, we also went back to the mines and killed, like, five more slimes. We want to go back to the Adventurers Guild this episode and see what they're uh, going to say. Hopefully, they'll actually accept me into their group. Let me just put up a bunch of random stuff real quick. Salmonberry. Uh, I guess we can put that up. Cauliflower. Yeah, I'll put that up as well. Wow, cauliflower. 75 energy and 33 health. I'll keep that then. Golly. There we go. Put that up as well. And then the copper ore. I definitely want to try to smelt as much. Oh, my. <laughs> I want to smelt as much copper as possible. Uh, let's see. There you go. I guess you can only do one at a time. Uh, but it does take five actual ingot things in order. Or, uh, five actual ores to get one ingot. And I think we need five ingots in order to upgrade our pickaxe. I don't think I saw anything about a sword over at the blacksmith. So uh, we currently have two bars right now. We're going to have a third here in just a bit. And we could actually get a fourth and a fifth. Ooh, I didn't realize that. We're going to be able to get a heckin' copper sword, a copper pickaxe here pretty soon. But I think it also costs a little bit of money, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. $2,000 and then five. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. I don't think I want to do that. Although at the same time, what am I going to spend my money on? 843 right now. I'm probably going to get a lot more money here pretty soon. I don't know. I might actually end up doing that. Either that or uh, I, I do remember reading comments of you guys last episode saying the Adventurers Guild apparently will actually be able to buy stuff over there as well. I, I would not be surprised if we end up finding the uh, swords over there. Maybe I could upgrade my sword over there, buy a new sword. Who knows? I guess we'll figure that out. Maybe go fishing a little bit more as well. Oh, yeah, and then we have an amethyst there. I think someone left a comment saying someone likes amethysts, so I should gift them an amethyst. And I also got a lot of comments. If you guys, there you go, that should be the last ingot. So there, there's three right there, and then we have two in storage. So, yep, we have the five, so that's good. Uh, oh, is there anything I can actually craft with that right now, though? Uh, those are the wild seas. There's a campfire. I don't think there's anything I can craft with that right now, unfortunately. I don't have enough copper ore to get a uh, heck and cherry bomb. <laughs> That'd be pretty good if I had enough, though, but not yet. Uh, oh, wait, I do. Ooh, I thought I had less. You know what? Let's get a heckin' cherry bomb. Let's get one of those things just in case we're getting attacked from, like, all angles. We'll have a heckin' explosive in our inventory. <laughs> there you go. And up, and up. There you go. And parsnip. I guess we'll put it up as well. Uh, you know what? Maybe sell that. I don't know. It's not like a gold star or anything like that, so I guess we'll just put that up and I'll put that up as well. All right. Well, let's go over to the Adventurer's Guild because it was, like, at the end of last episode when we actually, uh... Uh, should, we, should I put that there? Uh, you know what? I guess I'll go over to Pierre's. Was it 10 a.m. right now? Uh, that's not too bad. Check all uh, around the town, though. See if we can find any of those leaks and all that other stuff, though. Oh, there you go. Speaking of such, boom. There's a leak right there. I think that's a leak. Yep, that's a leak. Awesome. And I can see some salmon berry over here as well. Boom. 
Seems like some people didn't really like the salmon berry, but I guess I'll take it. Is that good? Uh, 25 energy, 11 health. Not bad. So I guess if, I, if I'm like almost dead or something like that, or if I'm like almost exhausted, I can just take a little bit of salmon berry and that'll be fine. So I just need to keep mindful of like little red dots and little bushes and stuff. And I'll be able to pick some berries and that'll be pretty good. But let's go over here. Oh, uh, real quick. Oh, yeah, there's the leak. So can I submit that right now? I don't think I'm able to do that right now, right? Or am I? Yeah, I have to actually go to the community center for that. Okay, so uh, we still need the dandelion and a horseradish. That shouldn't be too bad, but I guess we'll go to P. Oh, there's an exclamation point above a note right there. Hold on. Egg festival there. Haley's birthday. Pam's birthday. Shane. Oh, yeah. I think I'm able to buy a calendar, so I have to manually come over here and check. Oh, here's help. Oh, so one of them was the calendar. One of them was the help wanted. That's kind of confusing. I don't know what uh, I need to look a little bit more closely, I guess, to make sure I click on the help wanted one. <laughs> Either way, help wanted trying to keep the Ardo fishing alive. I'll pay 100 gold to any fisherman who catches two smallmouth bass. Good luck, Willie. Uh, 100 gold reward. You get to keep the fish. Hey, so maybe I'll get a little bit more money if I sell that fish. So there you go. accept that quest. So I don't even know what a small what was it called? Small mouth or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's just a good excuse for us to go fishing, though, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, cutscene going on. What is this? What's about to happen? Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Uh, why is there like a... Oh, whoa, whoa, who's this guy? Wait, is that Sebastian? Is he mad at me about, like, giving him a flow? Oh, wait, no, Morris, who's this? Who's Morris? Have I met this? I don't... He doesn't seem familiar. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Joja Mart. Uh-oh. 50%? Uh-oh. Pierre's going to lose a bunch of business now. Well, any takers? Oh, everyone's going to go get the 50% off coupon. Man! Now Pierre's not going to have any business. Yeah, that's why you guys didn't want me to shop over there, right? But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. Uh-oh, what is he going to say to me? It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. Man, what a savage this guy is. Steals his customers, comes back and rub it in his face. Jeez. But can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole... I should probably give one a very posh accent or something. Soon the whole town will realize that. Yes. Oh, I gave him an accent like right at the very end there. Man, should have done that for all of his uh, lines. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, hey, look at that. Everyone's back. Hey, that's good. Alright, Pierre. Hopefully you didn't lose too much business there, but, uh, hey, I've got some... Oh, man, call it... Jeez, cauliflower is pretty good money. Like, I only get 100 gold if I find... Uh, catch two fish or something like that, right? Should I sell that cauliflower? I'm mean, like, it gives you a lot of energy and whatnot. And then salmon berry, that's basically nothing. I, I'll sell my parsnip, but the cauliflower, do I want to sell that? Huh. Cauliflower seeds. Plant these in the spring, takes 12 days to produce a large cauliflower. But it's not like the bean starter where it, it keeps it, it, you lose it. So you spend $80 to gain $175. I guess that's good. I'm mean, like, you're just you're basically paying with your time. I'll sell it right now. We're early in the game. It makes sense to sell stuff to get money. So we have $1,000 now. I don't know what I could buy with $1,000. Uh, then we have this random leak. I don't want to sell that. I need to go give it to the community center. So put that up over there. now. Before I forget, uh, because I mentioned it earlier, is this? Yes. Okay. So you click on the box or the uh, the gift, and that's that's what tells you. Okay, this is what Robin likes, right? Robin's favorites. You haven't given any gifts of this. Wait, she doesn't have any favorites. Uh, cooked items. Does she not like anything? Uh. Oh, I guess I maybe it only. Hold on. Okay, this one's Dimitri. Oh, he likes potatoes. So where are his favorites at? Where's the uh? What did that say? Uh, oh, fruits and vegetables. Okay, so this one lists all the favorites at once. Okay, and the, the other ones just kind of organize it a little bit more specifically. So I guess I can give a Demetrius a potato. I, I think I'm growing potatoes right now. If not, I might be able to go uh, go buy some seeds from Pierre right there. I'm like, we got money. And there's his birthday too. Yeah, 19th summer. Okay, so that's going to be next season. Is anyone in the spring? I know we have a calendar that's like right there. Okay, 18 spring. Yeah, Pam, two days, tulips. I kind of want to buy tulips. I don't know how long it takes for a tulip to grow, though. I if it's more than three days, we can't do that. Or if it's three days in general, three days or more. Man, Harvey, that's winter, spring. Oh, was, yeah, Lewis, that was earlier on. 26? Oh, okay, Pierre. I, I could buy him a tulip. 
That'll be pretty good. Maru, 10 summer, fall, winter, spring. That's in four days. Hmm. I can't give him anything because he don't have any favorites. This summer there. And I think we're probably going to wrap around here pretty soon. 10 spring, Vincent, for summer. Oh, oh, oh. Four, okay, that's 14 there. And then Emily, 27. Yeah, no one has any favorites here. This is so weird. And then there's Robin there with one heart, and that's from giving her her axe. Yeah, so it wrapped around right there. So I get, I'm like, tulips are, they seem like a, just an all around good gift. How much should tulips cost? Only $20. That's not bad. You know what? Let's get like, pfft. let's get like 10 of those. Let's get 10 of those going. So we're back down to $853. Not bad, I guess. Uh, then potato, that's going to be good for Demetrius. I guess we'll get, uh, I forget if I'm, if I even have potatoes at home. So there you go. So we have that. Uh, let's go actually go plant those so they actually start growing throughout today and I don't uh, miss out on one day of growth. Uh, so hold on, hold on. Does it say, uh, oh yeah, see the tulips? Oh, they take six days. So if today's the 16th, someone has to have the 22nd or later in order for us to be able to give them a tulip. But I'm like, I could just give anyone a tulip except for, I guess, Sebastian. Sebastian doesn't like tulips whenever I gave him a tulip the other day, all right? But I guess we'll just go plant these real quick. I still want to go to the adventure skill, so you know what, let's go back to our house and let's go take that northern uh, route and uh, try and find, I don't know, dandelions or whatever else over there. And then, yeah, while we're fishing, definitely want to see if we can find any of those worms. I know some of you guys pointed out, like last episode, some uh, little wiggly worms. I don't know if there are any right now. I don't know if there are any that can spawn in my base, but, uh, oh, and there's another cauliflower right there. So we're going to get a little bit more money probably tomorrow, uh, but let's put that there. And I don't know, so, someone said something about someone like in an A. I might have to go back and actually see, because I think they actually mentioned their name. Oh, whoops. I don't know why I made that weird shape. So we have potatoes growing and the tulips growing all around the potatoes right there. <laughs> but someone named someone specifically saying that they like the amethyst. And I guess I couldn't sell the amethyst right there or else I would have had the option to sell to Pierre. And we didn't have that option, unfortunately. So do I only, can I, I might be able to sell to this or maybe I only have the option to actually just donate it to the, museum over there and that guy doesn't pay us money so that's gonna suck but either way i guess well yeah you know what let's put this up or actually you know what maybe i missed him maybe i skipped over him hold on let me let me go through that list again real quick okay so leah also likes daffodils uh that's winter so we, that's going to be a while away and then penny likes dandelions sorry penny i'm gonna have to take those i need them for that and spring foraging bundle or whatever it's called <laughs> oh, wait who's this harvey likes the spring onions okay that's cool but ooh. If we could only get those in the spring, I might have to grab those and just kind of keep them until winter and then give them to him. Ooh. Now, who wanted the amethyst here? I don't think he's going to say. I might not know who this person is enough in order to know that they like amethyst. It, it might, it, there might be someone that likes amethyst. It's just that I, I, I need to know more information about them first before it tells me, I'm sure, right? But either way, we have a gold star leak right there. I guess if we find another leak, we could sell the gold star one and then donate the uh, other leak. But for right now, we cleaned out our inventory ah, decently. So let's actually head up north and see if we can actually find any more dandelions, horseradish, maybe a, a lower level leak. Oh man, there's three bushes right there. We can. Oh man, another bush right there. Oh, oh, horseradish, horseradish, perfect. So what do we need now? We have leeks, we have horseradish. Oh, we need dandelions, man. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Oh, I saw wiggling right there. I think, is that, no, the, 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 that's just, Hold on. Yeah, that's just leaves. Yeah, leaves blowing in the wind. Man, I think it was supposed to be like brown or something like that. You guys were saying. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for this so I don't miss it. And I'm, I'm probably going to again miss it anyways. <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised. We have more uh, salmon berry up here. I guess I'll grab them to them. There you go. And I wonder, can, you know what? Can I give him the sabbat? Or uh, what's his name? Linus? Let's give him a gift. This is a great gift. Thank you. Hey, Linus likes the salmon berry, so that's good to know. You know what? Let's come back here a little bit later when we have more of those. Because uh, we can only give them to him twice a week, so we can't do it like constantly or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, give him more salmon berry and hopefully get some good relationship points with uh, Linus there. Either way, let's go over to the Adventurer's Guild. I'm not seeing any uh, dandelions here, unfortunately. I guess uh, whenever we're done with the Adventurer's Guild, we can go pass by the community center, drop off two of those plants, and we'll be good to go. So I think this is the, yep, this is the Adventures Guild with a little sword icon right there. And then, uh, what do we just go inside? Oh, yep, journal updated. Ooh, so was this fishing? Oh, wait, well, why is this? Oh, I only have two days to do the fish. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know there were any missions that actually request or whatever that had a time limit like this. So yeah, definitely want to go fishing later this episode, you guys. I guess the journal updated uh, to finish that mission. 
Oh, and who's this guy? This guy, Rot Gil. Come back when you've uh, something to show me, kid. Okay, I guess I, have, I guess I have to have something impressive for him. <laughs> Monster eradication goals. What? Help us keep the valley safe. 24 out of a thousand slimes. So I've killed 24 slimes in total, which is good. I, I don't know why I had to kill another 10 or whatever for the mission. I've already killed like 20 or something like that at the time. Or like 14 or whatever. Either way, 150 of something, 200 of something, 50 of something, 14 out of 125 cave insects. So I still need to kill a lot of those. 30 of something, 500 of something there. Five or uh, three out of 60 rock crabs. So yeah, making a little bit of progress there. Seems like everything just kind of spawns randomly there. So uh, it might have just kind of hang out in the mines for a while and then hopefully come across everything there and kill enough of them. And then see, okay, okay, yeah. See Gil to claim your reward. So I guess if I kill 60 rock crabs, I can talk to the guy in the rocking chair there or a thousand slimes or 125 uh, cave insects, which are there going to be more than just one? Because all we saw was just the flying bug. I wonder if there's like a small uh, one that like walks around or something like that. Either way, this guy. Yep. Wooden blit. Oh, cool. Wait, is a wooden bl Is this better than the uh, rusty sword one? And there's uh, leather. We got leather boots last episode when we got the level 10, I think, right? Uh, of the mines. So that's pretty cool. And with this ring, does that give you anything? Ooh, yes, it does. Increases knockback at, by 10%. That's actually decent. Mm, but it's a thousand dollars. Topaz ring increases weapon precision by 10%. What does that necessarily mean? I don't know. Oh, and uh, what about the sneakers up here? A little flimsy, but fashionable. Plus one to two defense. Oh, well, yeah, okay, I'm going to keep my leather boots then. They give you plus one to defense and plus one to immunity. I don't know what that means, but I guess we take... Wait, what is that little symbol there? It's like a little purple moon. Is that magic or something? So I guess one defense for, like, physical damage and then one for, like, maybe magical damage or something? I don't know. I'm assuming over here. And then wooden blade. I'm like, it doesn't say how much the rusty sword does in damage, so I assume the wooden blade is just better. Not bad for a piece of carved wood. So I guess, yeah, let's buy this and I guess we'll sell this. Hopefully I'm not going to get, oh, hopefully I'm not going to get comments saying, oh, why'd you do that? You could have upgraded the, the rusty sword or whatever. <laughs> Welcome to the adventure skills. So I guess this is it. You just get a shop over here and that's it, huh? Can I talk to the guy back here though? Maybe give him a gift? No, I can't do that. Man, uh, maybe whenever it closes, I'll be able to talk to that guy again. Anything else back here? Because there was like a hidden hatch in that wizard's tower last episode. Guess I don't have anything over here, though. So that's interesting. So we actually got ourselves a better sword. It kind of looks like a weird cooked fish in my hot bar, honestly. Oh! Uh, I just thought, I just thought, I just thought. Because we're over here. I remember there was this bridge here. There was, where is it? Yeah, right here. Reward bridge repair. Is this the bridge it's talking about? Hold on. If I pull the big map. Yes! So it goes over to this. Like giant cookie thing. This has got to be what he's talking about. If I, if I, I guess, take an entire year to do summer forging bundle, spring forging bundle, exotic. I guess it's just like rare stuff. Cactus, cave carrot. I don't know. Purple mushroom cave. I don't know, but those are probably going to find in the. Uh, oh gosh, sn snow yam, cr crocus, crystal fruit, winter root. <laughs> nice little rhyme there. Construction bundle. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we can do this. Is doable. Except for the hardwood. I don't know what the hard... What gives us the hardwood? Then fall right there. Uh, let's... It's 5 p.m. right now. Let's go... Oh, man, a leak. Perfect. I might be able to actually keep the... Hold on, which one is that? Oh, cool. So I can I can keep this one, donate that one, and then sell the gold star one right there. Cool stuff. Let's keep our eyes peeled, though, because we need to find a dandelion. That's the only thing that we're missing for the spring... Uh, well, let's go up. Hold on, can I go? Nah. I'll see if they're like, maybe over there and see if I can find a dandelion up there, but I guess not. Uh, do I want to go to the mines? I don't, I don't think I want to go to the mines. Yeah, I'm actually relatively low on energy right now. I don't want to waste any of my time or energy right now. Whoa! Wait, what, what are you doing playing the flute next to it? Whoa! Hold on. Gift you a salmon berry. Eat up snow. What's she doing? She's playing the... Can I not disturb her? I guess not. Who's that, Abigail? I think so. I guess not. Okay, whatever. Well, she's just playing the flute there randomly. Can I give you a... Uh, I don't know if he likes this. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. I, I, I it sounds like he's indifferent about that. Like he do not he's neutral. <laughs> so I, I guess he's okay with that. <laughs> Anyways, let's go down here. See if we can find any daft or uh, not daffodils. We already donated that, I think, right? D uh, dandelions. And there's another salmon berry thing right there. And I'm going to keep, I still need to keep my eyes peeled for any wiggling. Any brown wiggling, like worms or something. And who is it? Oh, that's Robin, I think, right? Who are you? 
Uh, yeah, Robin. Hey, I heard uh, that Lewis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a real nice building. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of working on that. How about you have a salmon berry? He doesn't know. Give you. Thanks. This is a really nice. Hey. Okay. So she likes to say. So did that update to say where is where am I? Here we go. Socials. Did that update to say she like? Okay. So that's that's good. So we it's a little bit of trial and error over here. So we now know that she likes salmonberry. I'm trying to think. Does it say what someone doesn't like? So I know Sebastian didn't like the tulips a few days ago. Where is he at over here? He's probably at the very end. Is this an alphabetical? Oh, not really. There he is. Does it say what he doesn't like? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Disliked gifts. Tulip. So let's not give him any tulips. Yeah, okay. So I, I, I guess you just kind of have to give them stuff, see what they think about it. And then it kind of writes a note there saying, okay, I like this. I don't like this. And then you kind of have to, like, uh, go from there, I suppose, huh? I guess we'll just donate the stuff that we have right now. There's another one right there we can grab. Uh, grab. So let's go inside here. There's another one of those little... What's it called again? I what that guy was called. Uh, but I think we actually have to go to this gold plate or whatever to actually... Oh, oh he's gone. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so spring forging bundle. Let's give it the regular one. Boom. And let's give it the wild horse radish. There you go. And I guess we can stop by Pierre's on the way home. Oh, yeah, actually, I think he's closed. Eh, that's not that big of a deal. We can put it inside that little box outside of our house. And then we can sell the gold star uh, leak right there and get a little bit of money out of that, hopefully. Uh, but I'm not seeing any other. Yeah, I'm not seeing any dandelions right now. Where else could we go to find dandelions? Do they spawn inside of the town here? I don't know. And there's the blacksmith guy. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, uh, Salmonberry. Uh, okay, I guess he doesn't like that. I, I guess we could check. Where is he at on this? Sam? Was that his name? Sam? Dwarf? I can gift the dwarf something? <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. Clint, that's his name. Why did I say Sam? Who's Sam? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Either way, Clint. Uh, so does he not like that? Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so if they're like meh or whatever. or Did he sigh and I for some reason thought his name was Sam after that? I don't know. <laughs> So he doesn't like Salmonberry. That's good to know. Uh, oh, maybe that's why I said Sam, because Salmonberry, you know? Hmm. Either way, we have neutral luck right now. I guess we can check the trash. So, uh, yep. Oh, wait. Oh, do not put the leak in there. Ooh, I thought I was going to put that in leak in there for a second. Nothing in there. Okay. Uh, I could give a bunch of people. You know what? Let's, let's actually go inside there. What is it? Tuesday right now? Yeah. Let's go inside the uh, the bar or whatever. What was that place actually called? I don't know if it's actually a bar, because I'm pretty... Haven't I seen kids in there before? I don't know. Maybe they just go inside there and play the arcade. Oh, oh, right there. Little wigglings. Little wiggling. Go, go, go to the second sewer. Let's get the hoe out. Let's see what happens. It's a lot. No, I don't care. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's clay. Wait, what? Wait, why is clay wiggling? What? I'm so confused about that now. Well, now I know what it looks like. It looks like little worms or like little brown fingers coming out of the ground like a heckin' undead zombie trying to <laughs> trying to serve us out with grave or something. I'm not seeing any dandelions and not seeing anything moving, unfortunately. Let's go inside the saloon and see if we can actually give some people more salmon berries. So we gave one to Clint R.A. What about you? Have we given you one? This is great. Thanks. Oh, okay. Hey, he actually likes salmon berries there. I forgot what that guy's name is, but uh, the guy that works at the heckin' supermarket. Pam, your birthday's coming up. You did good. Oh, hey, you did good with this one. So is that does that count as I bet I have to I, have, I bet I have to give that to her on her actual birthday. I think I gave Robin. No, this is Leah. Man, I always going to mix up the redheads. <laughs> this is really not. OK, so she likes the salmon berry as well. Let's give one to you. Can I not give you a gift if you're working? Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, Waffle. I don't like this. OK, well, at least you're kind about it. You're not like rude, like meh. I don't like your gift. I don't like it. Puh, puh, trash. Puh, puh, puh. Or like choking on it or whatever. <laughs> like just fake dying just because you don't like that in salmon berry. There you go. No, 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 no. Okay, so we don't like that in salmon berries. Okay, golly. Anyone else around here though? I don't think so. I don't think there's anyone else hanging around right out around here. At least not right now. They're probably going to show up a little bit late. I'm like it's 10:40. It's pretty late already, honestly. Now I don't know. Oh gosh, yeah, look at how late it is. It's dark right now. Golly. Oh, I thought I saw wiggling right there. Yeah, it's really it's really hard to see. Like uh, I do want to go people through people's trash by the oh, oh, it's like a little dust behind my footprints right there. That's what that is right there, man. 
but I do want to get the uh, 11 p.m. and I'm going through people's trash. Oh, nothing, man. All right, let's go this way. Just take the. Oh, 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 I saw someone walking right there. I didn't want to get caught. What are those pigs? I think so. <laughs> trying to see. Are there any dandelions over here, though? I don't think so. What is this? Oh, it's like dirt. It's so weird how like dark everything looks at night. Is there like a flashlight or like a lantern you could have? Because it is like almost impossible, at least for me. And I know the. Oh, it's getting late. Yeah, okay, it's midnight right now. Oh, wait, what in the world? Who's this? Oh, that's the guy that uh, was inside the saloon just a minute ago. Yeah, I'm not seeing any dandelions right now. I should probably go to bed, honestly. <laughs> like, I should not be out at midnight trying to find dandelions. <laughs> like, it's super duper dangerous. Even though I do have a new sword and I, I wouldn't complain about I can give it a little bit of a test drive. I still don't want anything bad to happen. I just don't want to get knocked out. Don't want to lose money. Especially, I'm like, we have 500 right now. Still getting some more salmon berries, though. Probably, I, I probably walked past a dandelion and didn't even realize it because, oh man, there's a, there you go, get rid of that. But I probably walked past one and didn't even realize it, so I really need to be careful here. Oh my gosh, look at all the salmon berries here, golly! I'm like, what do you only get, like 10 or 20 dollars from these? I'm like, uh, eventually it starts adding up, huh? There you go. What, do you get multiple? Yeah, yeah, I think you only get one from, yeah, you only get one from these, so. Ah, uh, it's 120. You know what? I'm going to start heading home. It's getting really, really late, and I'm not seeing a thing out here, so... Ah, that kind of sucks. I see a salmon berry or something. Or a, I'm so obsessed with salmon berries. I thought I'd see a dandelion or something with that by now, but no. Ah, alright. Oh my gosh, 140. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so if I'm in my main area... Oh my gosh, 150! Man! Go, go, go! Man, time is flying! Go to your base! Here we go, here we go. I'm home, I'm home. It's 2 a.m. No, I'm going to pass out. We're at $553. Golly, we're going to lose money now. Oh, man, we leveled up. I pass out and then we level up. What? <laughs> level two farming. Uh, oh, I guess because it started a new day. That's why. Plus one watering can proficiency. Plus one hoe efficiency. A new crafting recipe for a stone fence. Interesting. New crafting recipe for mayonnaise machine. What? Just, oh, we got the sprinkler now, finally! Okay, new craft recipe for the sprinkler, and we uh, got a cooking recipe for a survival burger uh, for level 2 foraging plus 1 axe proficiency. Cool. I haven't done any cutting down of trees in a while, but, uh... Oh, what do we lose right there? Like... No, don't... God, don't go to sleep. We have like 500... I th you probably lose like 10% of your money whenever you pass out in the middle of the night. That happens way too often. Like, if I'm going to pass out, at least it happens at the beginning of the heckin' series, not like episode 50 or something like that, right? <laughs> now that would be embarrassing. <laughs> Watch now, now someone in the future is going to be like, Hey, did you guys know we passed out on episode 50? <laughs> now that would, that would actually be, that'd be like drowning in Minecraft, right? <laughs> now, either, oh, oh, we just got some good money from the cauliflower right there. Another little bit of good money right there. Oh, I'm out of water. Ah, oh, I forgot about that, yeah. And I don't think if we go back to where I passed out, I don't think we're going to find any money over there, right? I think I think the money that we lost is, like, gone forever, so... Either way, let, let me keep watering these plants over here. Oh, uh, I didn't even realize that we have mail over here. Waffle, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You passed out from exhaustion. Pff, tell me about it. I was, like, right here, right next to my base, basically. You've got to take better care of yourself and go to bed at a reasonable hour. I know. Life imitates art. Or, or, what is it? Art imitates life? No, it's the other way around. Life imitates art. Uh, well, in this sense, art imitates life because my sleep schedule in real life is packing trash. <laughs> I've billed you 55G to cover your medical expenses. Okay. So we lost 55 gold from Dr. Harvey. I don't know who that is. Is he actually in the town or is this some like random doctor like from out of town or something? I don't know. Uh, but we lost 55 right there. So I guess that explains the lore of you missing out on your money there. You don't just drop it off and you have to go pick it up later, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's about 10% of the money that we had at the time, huh? Either way, what was I going to do a second ago? I guess we can go sell our, uh, some sell some stuff to Pierre over there, especially because we have a silver star, we have a gold star down there. I guess while we're also at home, I'll uh, drop off a couple things so we have a little bit of inventory space. Maybe go check up on the uh, fortune teller. Oh, Queen of the Sauce rerun. Oh, it's a rerun, though. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you the new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, coleslaw. Envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage, you are not alone. But a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy cabbage for this one. Toss with a little bit of vinegar and mayonnaise, and you're all set. Ah, oh, that's crisp. You've learned how to cook coleslaw. Oh, interesting. 
Either way, uh, check the fortune teller here. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, this isn't a good day to go do heckin' fishing then, huh? Man, well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, well, we have to find two fish, and we only have... Oh, man, today's the final day. Well, I just got the mission yesterday. And it lasts for... Two okay, I, I, guess it I guess it counts the day that you get it as a day, and then the next day is your last day. That sucks. Smallmouth bass. I have to get two of those. Let's check our mail over here. Seems like we have another mail. Dear Farmer Waffle, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Continue on the next page. Is this, uh, Robin? Yep, from your local carpenter, Robin. She's heckin' everyone's like handing out advertisements and spam mail to me. All around town. We got Pierre yesterday. We got Robin today. We had Robin like last week too. Anyways, the first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. Oh, okay. I think that was $10,000, wasn't it? So, you know, that's pretty heckin' expensive. But hey, maybe, maybe once we actually get our farm up and running and hey, let's try and make a sprinkler real quick. That'll definitely help out with our farm a ton, huh? And you know what? Yeah, we have $498 right now. Let's just buy a bunch of seeds. You know, invest in our future. We, we just bought a bunch of other stuff. We do want like a sword and whatever else. If we buy a bunch of seeds and just plant stuff and then, you know, five, six, seven days later, eight, 12 days later, whatever, however long stuff takes to grow. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to have a lot of crops that give us a lot of money and hey, they'll start paying for themselves. So you know what? That that definitely sounds like a good idea. Let, let's go to uh, Pierre's shop. Let's purposely not go over to Jojo Mart or whatever it's called. And uh, let, let's see what other seeds we can buy. But uh, what else do we have here? Uh, with a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipe you've learned. Hey. Uh, so I guess I'm not able to actually cook anything right now, except for like, what, like a like a granola bar or something like that, like a trail mix bar. Well, I forget what we actually have in our inventory right now. Anyways, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. You're a local carpenter, Robin. Yeah, I'm really liking this game. I'm really, it, it's so chill, so so relaxing. It's such a good game, you guys. I'm so glad you guys suggested it for me and, and voted for me to play. It's so cool. Uh, what am I doing here? Trying to make, yes, trying to make the sprinkler. Oh, we need iron, though. Water just the four adjacent tiles every morning. Interesting. So we can basically put that where our scarecrow is, right? That's one iron, one copper. Yeah, so we have one, two, three. We, we actually have a lot more room here. And one, two, three. Actually, we can put it like right here, right? And it'd be one, two, three. Yeah, our, our little plot right here that I've been working on. A little bit bigger than uh, what a sprinkler would do, but I guess we could just make two of them. But yeah, we've had no luck actually getting iron, though. We, we've only gotten copper, and I actually, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if we find copper on the mine levels 1 through 5, or 1 through 10. And maybe we could find iron levels 11 through 20, and maybe other stuff a little bit deeper. You know, the deeper you go, the more valuable stuff. Oh, whoops. Maybe the deeper you go, the more valuable stuff you actually end up finding in the mines. I would not be surprised by that. But uh, it's 9 a.m. right now, which is actually a great time. Let's go to Pierre's, sell some of the stuff that we have. Oh, oh yeah. Let, let's also go around, see if we can actually find some stuff for that forging bundle. So we have one right here. Another leak up there. Cool. I just saw something walk into a bush. Eat a daffodil? No. <laughs> Pick up that leak. Anything else around here? Nah. Man. Oh, you know what? This is probably... I would not be surprised if this, if we somehow get this back up and running, that's probably how you get up to this up here. Yeah, because it goes into a cave. Yeah, see, it goes into a tunnel there and it goes into a tunnel there. Actually, you know what? That This this tunnel probably goes into the mines. I don't know, maybe this tunnel goes over here where the bus stop is. So this is the bus stop, which means we're technically like right here. I guess it kind of goes in a little angle like that. And that's where the train station is. And this one's kind of out of order, but maybe later it'll actually work and I'll be able to repair it and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised. Either way, I didn't find anything else over there. Just found like one daffodil, one leak. I guess we'll just go to town real quick, go sell some of the stuff. I see anything. Well, there's a mushroom there, but I'm pretty sure that's like a purely cosmetic decorative mushroom. <laughs> just such a weird thing to say. So we have bad luck today. So I'm like, if, if we look through people's trash, I'm not going to find anything, right? Yep, nothing there, boom. And yep. Oh, wait. I got green. Who just throws away slimy green algae like that? That's nasty. Like, what? <laughs> now it's actually daytime. I can actually see over here. 
I might as well see if I can actually find a uh, dandelions here real quick, you guys. Oh, another horse radish down there. Perfect. So we could sell that, get a little bit of money out of that, so that's good. And you know what? We need to cut down trees, too. We need to cut down trees, try and get some wood. Maybe uh, repair that bridge that's over by the fishing area. And yeah, speaking of such... We have the bad luck today, though, so... We're it doesn't really make sense to go over the fishing area to try and fish. We're not going to find the smallmouth bass, are we? And I doubt we could find it in the second lake over here. I'm like, I could try. I don't know. We've never fished in this lake, but it has like a pier, so it kind of implies, hey, you could, you could fish here. So you know what? Let's, let's actually try. There's a random log in the middle of there. I don't know what we're going to find over here, but hey, I'm like, I might as well try it out, huh? Let's see. Yep. Oh, whoops. Uh, that, was, that was an okay little cast right there. Let's see. Let's wait. If we actually catch something here. Oh, oh, we caught something. I, oh, I think I did. I hit the wrong button right there. Ah, man, I don't, I don't know if I hit the wrong button or if it got away. Man. Oh, here we go. Hit. Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, oh, you know what? You guys were saying something. What was it? What was it? You guys were saying to. No. Wait. Ah, man. I was trying to myth bust right there, but you guys were saying it was easier to do that with like a keyboard instead of the mouse. I was trying to see like what button would do that on the keyboard. But I might actually have to use the mouse for that. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, here we go. So let's, let's keep let's keep this green bar behind the fish there. There we go, come on. Ah, we're losing it, we're losing it. Come on, come on, we're almost there. Yes, we got it. What is it? Small mouth, oh, we got one. We're halfway there. We're halfway there, you guys. We come on, it's 1 p.m. right now. I, I'm actually surprised we actually found something here. A heckin' smallmouth bass in a tiny little pond like this. We just need to get one more of those. I, I probably would have been able to cut both of those by now, but I, I missed out on the fr oh, 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 man, a green algae. How do I catch a green algae? I got one in the trash and now, I, oh, 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 another one. Yes, 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 yes. Keep it behind the fish. Come on, oh, go down, up, 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 up. Oh, oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. Almost, almost, almost got it, almost got it. <gasps> yes, yes, what is it? Smallmouth bass, hey, two wreck, oh man, a new wrecker right there. I guess this is 19 inches long, the biggest fish I've caught, huh? Interesting, let's go down to Willy, was that his name, Willy? I wanna go down there, finish the mission, get 100 gold from him, and maybe sell the fish too, and get a little bit of money on that too. Let's see if I can get a third here. I don't know if I'm gonna get a third. Oh, 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 boom, got another one. Now is that little fish I caught, oh, whoa, whoa, what is that? What is that? Whoa, whoa! I got something right there. It, it, like, it was like a little chest picture. Is that like a bonus, like loot or something? Hold on, hold on. Can I get the fish? Come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, it's a 12 inch bass. Okay. Oh, and there. What is this? Bait. Iron ore. Hey, don't mind if I do. So we got two iron ore right there from a heckin' mystery box we fished out of the lake or the pond or whatever. I don't I, I think that's a pond. I think a lake would be far bigger than that. Oh, whoops. Uh,. Get the same, there you go, get the same berry out of that. All right, well, it's 2 p.m. right now. Time is just absolutely fine in this game, you guys. It's crazy. But I do want to go down to Willie, see what he's up to, see if he's still letting me uh, submit this quest before it's too late. I'm like, today is the final day, so. Oh, hey, there's a, uh, who is this? Is this Leah or is this Robin? I think this is Leah. I think we've seen her in this place before. Let's see, is this Leah? It is, hey! This morning, I accidentally stepped on a bug. Okay. Well, uh, hey, that's maybe <laughs> going to get you credits with the Adventures Guild or something, huh? You've already given Leah two gifts this week. That's enough. Golly. Settle down there, game. Yelling at me because I'm trying to be nice to people. <laughs> All right. Let's get a uh, horse ranch right here. I'm not, I, don't think, I don't think we're going to find a... Uh... Oh, no, literally, right when I say that, dandelion, boom. You guys, we're getting great progress today. And I think we can find spring onions over here, huh? I think so. This is the area of the map, 3.30 p.m. I'm keeping an eye on that that timer up there, that clock up there. Just because I, I, I know that guy's shop closes at like, pff, man, what time does it close? 5 p.m. Okay, 5 p.m. You know what? We should probably start heading over there like right now. Just because I'm like, it's going to take a little while to get over there. Time is going to start passing and flying like I can. I almost said flying like I can rock. That's like literally the exact opposite. Flying like a, a flying squirrel. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, let's get a bunch of like, salmon berries over here. Yeah, I need to see. Does Lee even like salmon berry? Like, if I give her another one tomorrow, or like, I guess next week, because I've already given her enough gifts this week. Like, is she going to actually like that, or is she going to be like, ugh, why are you giving me salmon berries? People actually eat this trash? Ugh. 
<laughs> oh, look at the cows up there. Little beefies. Little beefies and steakies up there. Anyways, let's go over here. Let's go down south. Let's go talk to Willie. I, I, I hope that's actually his name. Hopefully I didn't misremember his name. And I also, while we're down there, keep an eye on the sand. Keep an eye on everywhere. Just see if there's any wiggling going on. And I guess that's how we get clay. So can I see any right now? I'm like, there's a uh, shell right here. A clam. What's this? A mussel. Nice. What's that? Nah. An oyster. Wow, we're getting a lot right here. Nice. Can I not pick that up? Oh, my inventory. Jeez, my inventory is full. I guess I'll go sell the, uh, or... Tri well, I guess, yeah, we have to go do the mission, and then I guess I can sell it to Willie. I don't think we actually... Oh, hey, there he is right there, actually. Hold on. Hey, there you go. So mission complete. Hey, you succeeded, Waffle. Hey, yeah, I did. And your name is Willie, so I got that right, too. The smallmouth bass is an exciting catch, don't you think? One time I caught one the size of a folding chair. What? <laughs> well, how big is that? How big is a folding chair? I'm like, I caught one, like, what was it, 19 inches was my record right there? Well, here's your reward. Congratulations. 100 gold there. But can I sell him, uh... Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. Oh, hold on. Can I gift him a fish? Oh, those... I got two silver stars right there. Nice. Can I gift him a fish? A gift! Thanks! Now, I think he liked it. I think he liked the fish. It's locked. Oh, man! I guess we got here just a little bit too last. Probably why it was fishing right there, because it's closed. Ooh. Oh, is it? No, is this what you guys are talking about? No. Pretty sure that little wiggling, like, worms that we saw, that's what you guys were talking about. Oh, and there's this guy right here. This little starfish right here. Can I? Yeah, hold on. Let's give him a gift. Sam Barry, this item gives me a terrible feeling. I'll have to dispose of it. Okay, golly, you don't have to tell me that. It's a little bit rude. Oh, man, making me uh, ruining my day. <laughs> man. Ugh. And you live in a weird shack by the beach? Jeez, just trying to be nice. Golly, people need to settle down. <laughs> Anyways, I, I guess we can go up, uh, now that we have everything for the heckin' spring bundle or forging bundle or whatever it's called there. Oh, uh, let's give you a thing. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, pff, I guess Abigail doesn't like heckin' whatever this is called. Uh, salmon berries. Okay, golly. Uh, at least I'm testing it out with everyone because these things spawn all over the place, so you never know if someone actually... Oh, you know, you know what? Yeah, I just remember we have bad luck today and we got like pretty good heckin fish like some three uh, Not three star silver star fish closed on what that's kind of random closed on Wednesdays. Well, do we have another mission here? There's another exclamation. Oh, oh, here we go 480 gold reward for killing eight slimes. Hey, pff, I'll do that. Was it was the time limit on that though? How long did I have until that? Oh, there we go. Uh, get them. Okay. That's how you get the hundred gold there. So, uh, two days. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to, have to do that next episode, you guys. We don't have enough time this episode, but what we do have enough time for this episode is to go to the community center and at least get this first... Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> at least get this first foraging bundle or whatever it's called. At least get this first one done. And then I guess we'll just have to wait until summertime and then we'll start working on that one. Unless we're lucky enough to come across, like, I guess, exotic stuff or maybe... You know, donate some wood or whatever over here to try and start working on the construction bundle. Uh, but let's finish this off with the dandelions. Yes. Bundle complete! Hey! There's a little hot air balloon there. That was cute. Oh, what is that? Do I get anything out of that? No? Okay, I guess it's just like a flowering plant or whatever. Or like an open box or something. I don't know. Either way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, that guy's carrying... Oh! Oh, we have to go to that room now! See that little, little Junimo guy carrying the, the green forging spring bundle? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, there's two new ones. Wait, what? Are these completely different, like, missions now? Oh, no, it's just the same thing. Wait, reward greenhouse? Wait, hold on. Does this still say bridge complete or whatever down here? Yeah, it does. Bridge report. Oh, wait, here's the reward. Spring seeds. Hey, don't mind if I do, golly, that's good stuff. So that's the reward there. And I guess if you finish, wait, this is crafts room. Hold on, so I have to do a uh, spring forge thing for over here too? I do for the pantry. Parsnip, oh man, green, but oh man. Okay, well these are all doable because we can buy all these seeds from Pierre. So not that big of a deal. We already have potatoes growing. I don't know if we still have parsley. I think we do. And then green beans, we have those growing as well. Cauliflower, I... 
We have a yeah, we have a cauliflower right now, actually. Hold on. Yep, there you go. Boom! Got that done. Nice. Do I have parsnip on me? I feel like I sold. Yeah, I, I sold my parsnips earlier, man. All right, let's go check the other one over here, actually. He's hanging out right there. Oh, no, he disappeared. Ah! Like he's hiding out inside of that little tree outside. All right, well, what about this one? Oh, wait, lake. Oh, this is a fish tank. Fish bundle. Crab pot bundle. Lake fish bundle. Hold on. Lake fish. S uh, small mouth bass. Night fish? Whoa. Eels? Ew. River fish? Now, what is this bass? Is this a uh, crab? Oh, hey. Hey, I have the cockle there. I have a mussel. Let's do this. There you go. Clam. I'm like, it sucks because th these were silver stars and whatnot, but hey, getting a little bit of pro. Oh, man. Wow. We almost got all the crab pot bundle done. We just need to get one more shrimp lobster. We had a crab, but I think I sold it. We would have had that done by now, but no. Ah, man. Resin apple tuna, tuna tilapia. Yeah, I don't think we have. I, I don't think it wants this. Whatever. What is what is this fish called? You know, smallmouth bass. I don't think it wants the smallmouth bass, unfortunately. So that sucks. And I don't even know where it. Is. Oh, largemouth. Okay. Well, it wants the largemouth one. So that sucks there. But hey, maybe a little bit later we'll be able to uh find the. Wait. Is it, that said in the lake, right? Yeah, lake fish. So I guess if we go back to that lake we were literally fishing at just a minute ago, that one right there, I guess we'll be able to find more of those bass that are like large mouth instead of small mouth that should be good all right well that's interesting so we have a lot of community center stuff to work on you guys like way more than i initially thought there golly either way i guess we'll just go back home check out our plants see if those are good to go uh and i guess i, I guess throw the gold leak right here the silver what was that cauliflower throw these over here throw the just sell those things in general get a little bit of money out of those and then uh, I guess in the morning, or, you know what? We'll worry about all that kind of stuff next episode. We're already 50 minute mark right now for my raw footage. I don't want to record any more than I need to. <laughs> so let's just sell the cauliflower. Yes. The leek. Yes. Spring onion. I kind of want to keep that because some guy likes that. Wild horse rat. I guess I'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And iron ore. I definitely want to keep that. And clay. Definitely want to keep that. Bait. Definitely want to keep that. Because this fish to bite faster must first be attached to a fishing rod. Okay. So if we go fishing, definitely want to uh, take some of that bait. So I guess, I guess that bait, you actually make that using, oh man, there's my dog. Zongus, I think his name is. <laughs> I guess the, uh, I think you use the bug. Where is it at? Yeah, here's right here, bug meat. Oh yeah, because it looks like a bunch of little pink bug meats. Cool. Maybe we'll be able to learn uh, how to craft that here in the future. Clay, put that up. Spring seeds, yes. Let's go, let's go, uh, let's go plant all those. We got 30 of them. We got a ton, you guys. That's, that's really, really good. Let's go plant them right now, and then we'll go to bed, and hopefully in the morning, oh, and water them as well. Don't want to forget about that. Golly, this is another ep a long episode here. I, I I was specifically, like, purposely trying to make this episode, like, at least under the 40-minute mark. But pff, that's long gone now. <laughs> so we have a bunch of spring uh, things growing right here. And hey, once these all grow, hey, we, we might actually be able to uh, get some of the spring. Oh, yeah, these are already uh, things growing here. Was it spring pantry? What, what, what was that called? Community center. Oh, now there are arrows here. Pantry room. Spring crops bundle. That's what I'm looking at here. So parsnip, potato, green bean. We might actually have those here uh, pretty soon, you guys. It's going to be really, really cool. So with the crafts room, that's the only one we have uh, done so far. But need to remember to water this before we go to bed so we don't miss out on a potential growth here. So let me just water all this. And I guess I'll also do the outro here. Uh, kind of get two birds done with one stone. So... Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. Because as you guys already heard earlier on in this episode, there's a lot of stuff that we could do. I definitely want to go do that mission to kill, what was it, eight slimes? And we get like $400 or something like that. Also want to go back to Pierre's uh, shop tomorrow buy a lot of seeds and hey maybe next episode we'll have a lot of these uh plants that we're planting right now hopefully a lot of these plants are going to be actually growing next episode and maybe get even more progress done with the pantry room uh thing for the community center because we're like it's definitely doable as you guys already saw right there maybe a uh, animal bundle wait what or oh yeah i never looked at any of these other things right here hold on is there anything that wants uh salmon berries 
Holy crops. Par oh, wow. These are all gold stars. Ooh. I had, oh, well, once five gold star parsnips. Man. Summer crops. Hot pepper, blueberry, uh, melon, and tomato. Let's go to be next. Corn, eggplant, pumpkin, yam. Yeah, let's go to be a little while from now. And then, uh, what was it? The fishing, fish tank. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, we just looked through all that already. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, what did the fish tank do at the very bottom? Glittering boulder remove. Is that, hold on. Is that the thing that was blocking, like, right up here by Demetrius' house? Blocking this little path? I think so. Maybe. Either way, uh, I guess we'll go to bed, finally. <laughs> and then, uh, I already did the full outro right there, so I guess I'll end off the video. Either way, let's see. Day 17, let's see how this went. We got a really good amount of money this time around. 578, not bad. 30 uh, from the algae or whatever that was. 330 from, I forget, what was that? Silver or gold uh, leak right there? And a silver or gold, uh, what is that thing called? I forget, I forget. cauliflower. <laughs> 218 from that one. Not bad, good money this time, you guys. Nice. And day 18 is started. And we'll, we'll worry about day 18 tomorrow. <laughs> as I already did the outro. But, oh, and then the rooster. Calling in the morning or whatever right there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, already did the full outro there, so thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Oh.